Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right. This is the official update, the official announcement. We're making it an official thing. And you're going, well, what, what, what is it? What is this crazy dude talking about? Well, the first weekend of February, 2023, we had a large gathering of RVers at Lake Whitney State Park, the Horseshoe Loop. It was known as Dillo Days. And now it's become, it's, it's official. It's an annual thing. So the first weekend in February, Lake Whitney State Park, Dillo Days. We had so much fun. If you weren't there, you, you need to go watch the video. It, it, that was just community coming together, making friends. Wenzel's Lone Star Meetings has arrived. We're gonna eat some of the finest bratwurst in the great state of Texas. Mm. Yes, sir. That is good stuff right there. Well, I left Chattanooga, boy, had a dollar and a dime. I hit it out for Nashville on the hard rock line. I'm working on that old steamboat and learn to ride the steam. When my feet had touched dry land, how happy I did feel. Been saving every penny for to make up through the fall. Working for that dollar, but it never adds up at all. But coming around the river banker, the old train was so sane. The very next thing you hear from me, I've been tied to a ball and chain. And I don't know where I'll be But if it wasn't for that old sheriff I'd be back in Tennessee Playing cards and crap games Not looking for the score And if I ever get back home again I'll never own no to my son. You may not know better, but I know you know right from wrong. Buy yourself a postcard so you can see the lights of town. Find yourself a country girl, keep quiet and sit old. Are you a YouTuber? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I am part of our thing. Please really? Sub, please sub. Never heard of you. Never? <laughs> Never heard of you. Oh, no. come on. <laughs> Just having a good time at a, at a wonderful Texas State Park. Weather was perfect. Now, the days leading up to it weren't so great, uh, which caused a number of people who had said they were going to be there, they, they didn't want to they didn't want to take a chance on the weather and i respect that and a lot of those people said we need to do it again. are you gonna do another one and everybody that was there at dillo days said we need to do this again and i agree so therefore 
And I had actually been thinking about that prior to the Dillo Days event because I was, I, and I am still blown away by the response of people who wanted to come and hang out with the Dude RV crew. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so honored by that. So we're doing it again. And in, in Dude RV style, I'm, I'm doing it. Uh, we're we're going to do it in the middle of the hottest part of the year, the weekend in August. I think it's number 24. It'll it'll be in the in the description. Uh, I'll put it a banner right here. Here's the date, and we are going to be gathering at a at a place that I found it was very interesting and very unique. There were several criteria important in the decision on where we're going to host this. One being electricity. Since it's going to be the middle of August and in Texas that usually means it's going to be a little bit on the warm side. I and mean, if yappy ain't happy ain't nobody happy, so we got to have 50 amp power. So I needed to find a location that had a lot of 50 amp connects, 50 amp RV sites. A lot of folks prefer pull throughs, so the, uh, a lot of pull through 50 amp full connection is also really important for a lot of people. So a park with all of those uh, was an absolute necessity. Now around that we want to have a, a beautiful setting we want to have nice park hosts access to the water to get cool some trees a group pavilion with tables and in all the places i have visited across this oh yes and there was one more i wanted it to be kind of central to in the state of texas so that if you're from Texas, then anyway, I just wanted it to be kind of hard at Texas location. And that really narrowed, <laughs> all of these really narrowed down the selection. Last summer, I happened to pay a visit. It was a one night visit on a Saturday to this little campground. It's a county operated park. There were only three RVs there on a Saturday afternoon. That sounds like a great location. Has has all that we want as far as sites go. 50 amp pull through, full connection, big group pavilion, beautiful park setting, access to the Brazos River slash Lake Whitney, Whitney Lake, wherever you decide to put your lake, before or after. Whitney Lake, Lake Whitney. This little park is operated by Johnson County. It's not too far from the town of Rio Vista. It is Ham Creek Park, H-A-M-M. -M. And I will link to the videos that I created for Ham Creek Park right up here. It's unique the way they're set up. You can't reserve online. You must make a phone call to Ham Creek Park to reserve your site. They will only accept cash. They do not do credit card or debit card. Do not arrive before your check-in time at two o'clock otherwise they're going to charge you a, a twenty dollar fee basically they're going to charge you for a 24-hour day to get in an hour early don't expect to make any phone calls there is no cell service there if you have starlink you're going to want to bring that yeah we have on the facebook group i've created the the facebook group duders Duders, the Facebook group. I have an event created. You can join the group and say you're going to the event and that will help us know how many people are going to be there. Once the park is booked, you'll have to stay somewhere else and come in just for the day on Saturday. We will have giveaways because I still have stuff coming in from Amazon vendors that we'll be giving away. We're going to do a potluck dinner on Saturday afternoon. We've, we're not having a real strict schedule, really, but there's some things that we're going to be doing. I have reserved the large group pavilion 
for Saturday where we will be gathering for the potluck and whatever else we're doing, giving away stuff. Bring a fan or two. You might, it, a mister might be a good idea, maybe not. We're gonna dress up our RVs with holiday lights. Uh, although it won't be getting dark until like nine o'clock, we'll still do a, a walkthrough. We didn't, we didn't do a con a, an RV decorating contest this last time, but maybe we'll do that this time. Uh, my mastermind group and I will, will discuss this and figure out exactly if we're going to have a big itinerary or if it's just going to be a few things. I will be arriving on Thursday. So if you get there Thursday, uh, we'll be doing, um, we'll be burning wood. If, if we're, there's not a fire ban in place, we'll be burning wood every night. Uh, if we're not in a burn ban, I'll have wood delivered again like we did for Dillo days. Uh, the whole thing is going to be intended to be a fundraiser for the Wounded Warrior Project. And that every video pertaining to that will have a link for the Wounded Warrior Project. Please make a donation. Those veterans deserve our help. I think that pretty well covers it. Oh, we're calling it buzzard days and it is simply because it, it just goes with the theme uh, i chose armadillo day for the for the for february it's about the only animal you're gonna see out in february in texas is armadillo i chose buzzard days because that's uh, august is the it's the hot days you know and about the only thing you're seeing moving around are the buzzards, the turkey vultures riding the thermals. And sometimes it's even too hot for them. They just sit up on the tree and look at you. And I always, in the old early Western movies, you knew the, the, the travelers were headed into trouble when they were going into the desert and there's a buzzard sitting on the branch of the tree waiting. I just think it's funny. So it's officially dubbed Buzzard Days in August. Come hang out with us. You've been officially notified. Hey, if this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. That's why we get to have Buzzard Days. Thank you for that. And for my patrons, I am most grateful. You rock! All right, y'all come back now, you hear?